Okay, dear, we proceed with the colonization and successions in the lake or the pond. Okay, we start with the colonization process by pioneer species, submerged plant. The plants yang duduk dalam air, yang tenggelam dalam air, so submerged plant. Okay, such as hydrilla species, elodia species and also cabomba species. These pioneer species have a fibrous roots. They are the alka yang fibrous yang penetrates deep in the soil to absorb nutrients from the soil. And this type of roots will bind the sand together. They yeah, can trap the sand together. Okay, have plenty of sunlight penetrations. So sunlight boleh masuk direct. Penetrate the water to reach these pioneer submerged plants. And this submerged plant will carry out photosynthesis. Okay. Some of these plants die and decompose, will increase organic nutrients in the pond. Okay, in the forms of humus and also sediments. Okay, humus itu awak nampak macam debu-debu. Okay, sediment awak nampak tanah yang macam debu-debu. And at the same time, there are eroded soil from the site. Pada masa yang sama juga ada tanah-tanah yang jatuh daripada tepi. And the saw, okay sorry, the pond becomes shallower. Akan jadi lagi uh, cetek sebab ada sand yang jatuh daripada tepi. Okay. The, uh, the ponds become shallow as well as daripada eroded soil and also sediments and humus. Daripada pokok-pokok yang mati tadi. And this uh, situation is not suitable anymore for pioneer species but favorable for first successor species that is floating plant. Tumbuhan yang terapung. Okay, such as the weeds, lotus, Pokok bunga teratai contohnya. And these flooding plants floats freely on the water surface. So sunlight, kebanyakan sunlight will be absorbed by these floating species. And these flooding plants will reproduce by vegetative reproductions. And these plants spread over water surface. And Sebab dia floating on the surface of water, dia akan reduce penetrations of light from reaching submerged plant. So submerged plant dekat bottoms of the lake akan receive lack of sunlight. And so that submerged plants die and decompose will increase organic matter uh, in the water. Okay, at the same time, other erosions daripada side of the lake. Okay, will increase sediments so the ponds or the lake become shallower, lagi cetek. And this one will favorable, will be favorable for next successor species, emergent plant. Okay, emergent, image, dia baru nak keluar. So this amphibious plant, okay, why we call it as amphibious? Sebab dia boleh ada dekat uh, land, dia juga boleh ada dekat water. Okay, examples of amphibious plants are sages and also cattails. And these plants have extensive cable roots, sorry, extensive roots. Okay, and these roots will bind the soil particles together and penetrate deeply to absorb more mineral salts. And these emergent plants or amphibious plants grow from the edge toward the middle of the pond. Daripada tepi, dia boleh grow pergi ke tengah-tengah pond. Sebab dia amphibious, boleh hidup darat dan juga air. And once this plant die and decompose, the pond become even more shallower. So, bila dia mati, ada tanah kat tepi-tepi ini yang jatuh, yang erot. So, the lens akan jadi, sorry, the lake akan jadi shallower. Lagi cetek. And this process Sorry, and these situations favorable for net successor species, herbaceous plant. Okay, non-woody plant. <clears throat> okay. Sorry for the interruptions. Okay, for the herbaceous plants, okay, dia akan buat proses yang sama juga. Uh, the root systems akan trap the soil. So, 
the soils will become drier. The lake become even more shallower, exposed to the lights and become drier. And this herbaceous plant can be replaced by small land plants such as shrubs, bushes and woody plant. And this process, succession process, I can keep repeated, okay, where the small land plants, shrub, bushes, uh, woody plants are can replaced by the terrestrial plants with woody, uh, woody plants, woody stems uh, and harder or stronger stems and roots by process succession process. Okay, this primary forest plants I can continue this succession process to form climate community or we call it as tropical rainforest.